This is a GPU, and as you can see, it's very freaking dirty. Now, you might be wondering, exactly how did this GPU get so freaking dirty, Brandon? Well, uh, hell if I know. I got this GPU from a family member who needed to clear some space up, and yeah, it's one of the dirtiest GPUs I've ever seen. I, I think it's been through a whole lot. But yeah, basically, I'm just going to be cleaning up this GPU in this video, and hoping that the GPU actually works, because uh, I don't know. I haven't tested it, and I'm not going to test it with all this dust on here. It is a pretty nice Red Devil model. I, I really do like the Red Devil model GPUs. They've always looked pretty nice and I do like the, the nice logo on the side here as well as the nice demonic backplate. They're just some really nice looking GPUs and I, I really do like their design so hopefully I can get this GPU in working order. And hey at least we know the GPU hasn't been opened up yet so that, that's good. And this is an RX 588 gigabyte model. I might make a dedicated video on this GPU after I get it all cleaned up so let me know if you guys Guys want to see that but without further ado let's go ahead and get this gpu nice and clean i'm gonna go ahead and start and get this back plate taken off real quick just so i can get easier access to the gpu shroud or cooler and like i said this gpu has never been opened up if you, if you couldn't tell uh it's never been cleaned so i'll probably have to repaste it as well and i really just hope this gpu uh actually works because i do love the red devil models and it'd be a cool little collector's item i guess or maybe i'll resell it i don't really know yet anyways it's time to break the virgin seal in the GPU. Let me just, yep. I did it. Goodbye, Virgin Seal. This GPU seems pretty straightforward to take apart so far. I mean, most of these GPUs are pretty straightforward. It's nothing crazy. It's just a matter of cleaning it. That's going to be the real work here. But hey, uh, I, I think I can do it. And I believe just like that, we have all the screws taken off. So we should be able to separate it, I think. Yep. Yep, that, that did it. That was actually pretty easy. I expected more screws, but hey, I can't complain. And just like that, we have the GPU and the cooler separated, so very good. Now, in terms of the thermal paste situation, I've definitely seen worse. It is pretty dry, though, which I guess is expected if it's never been opened up, but it's definitely better than I expected, so that's good. There are some various dust buildup areas. Pretty pretty standard, I guess. And as for the cooler side, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I've definitely seen worse before, although the front is definitely some of the worst I've ever seen in terms of dust buildup. So we're going to have to take this apart as well and get to that. I'm going to start by getting this thermal paste cleaned off first though, just to kind of get it out of the way. That looks good. All right, that looks good as well. Just gonna get these fans taken out real quick. That's most of what we need to clean, honestly. These fans, let's just say they're dirty. Just a little, just a little dirty. Oh, wow. That's a nice layer of dust right there. I need to get this freaking plastic shroud off, but it uses these, I believe, six-sided little screws. I had to find a tool for that. I wish they used just standard Phillips screws, but uh, whatever, I guess. All right, so I somehow managed to find the actual proper tool for this. So let's go ahead and get this plastic shroud removed. It took so long to find this one single stupid little bit for this stupid GPU shroud. I don't know why they used this. It would have been much easier to repair if they used just a standard Phillips, but I guess I found it in the end, so does it really matter? Whatever. It just, it took me a long time. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, let me just go ahead and get this shroud removed so we can actually get to clean this GPU. Oh boy. I got it removed. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, here's the heat sink in all its dusty glory. This this is quite a lot of dust. It literally feels like a carpet. It's <laughs> I might actually have to take this heat sink outside because uh this is gonna get really dusty really fast. So I I, I guess I'll do that real quick. It almost kind of looks like I could peel it off. Like <laughs> Is this is this an oddly satisfying ASMR video right now? Am I am I doing this? <laughs> I'm just gonna get this clump out. I mean, that saves me a lot of time, honestly. I don't have to individually dust this off. This is a lot of dust. Holy crap. This mountain of dust is just engulfing my hand. Goodbye. That was the bulk of the dust. I'm gonna go ahead and get the little duster thing I have to kind of get the, the excess dust off, but it's already looking like 10 times better, so that's good. All right, just gonna do a quick little dusting. It's probably not the most efficient way to do it, but whatever. <laughs> All right, I think I've gotten it to a point where I'm happy with how it looks. As you can see, it's definitely faring quite a bit better than before, especially this part right here. This, this part was crazy dirty. But let's go ahead and get the other parts of the GPU cleaned real quick. Looks 
better. All right, I've got the components mostly cleaned and I think they look much better than they did before for sure. So let's go ahead and get it reassembled and make sure everything works properly. Also, I just realized these top screws don't even go to anything, so I unscrewed them for no reason. So I wasted my time unscrewing those, but whatever, it's, it's fine. All right, I have the GPU fully assembled and it's safe to say it's looking much, much better. We don't mention the fact I lost a screw. That didn't happen. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with how this GPU cleaning turned out. All around, it looks a lot better than it did before for sure. And it's a pretty nice looking model too. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. And let's go ahead and see if this GPU even works because I don't even know. All right, so I got a nice jank setup here to go ahead and test this GPU. And I actually got this Flex ATX power supply with this GPU. So I don't even know if that works. So this is kind of like, like a, a double testing situation. This looks like something I could not get through TSA at the airport. And yes, we are using this old monitor again. All right, without further ado, let's get this system posted. Oh, well, that fan definitely works. And the GPU is, as far as I can tell, working. No flames yet. I really like the lighting it has right here. And we are posted. That's, that's a good sign so far. Let me go ahead and get into Windows and make sure that this GPU will work under load. All right, so I have the system posted into Windows and it is still working properly, luckily. And this PSU is pretty damn loud. I guess that's pretty normal considering it's a flex ATX power supply. And as for the GPU, the fans aren't even spinning right now somehow. It's really freaking hot in here so i would expect the fans to be spinning but they aren't i guess zero rpm mode is on but let's go ahead and see how this gpu does under a furmark stress test all right i have it running some furmark and the fans are spinning so that's good for some reason the temperature isn't working on furmark itself i've never seen this but it does show up on task manager and we are currently running at about 64 celsius and it's really hot in this room right now so i'm actually surprised it's not higher but it is a pretty decent cooler for an rx 580 but yeah as far as i can see the GPU is running pretty good. I know this is going to be a shorter video because I'm not doing any serious testing on this GPU. That's because I wanted to save that for a separate video just to give it more room for my own thoughts and you know not take up too much of your time. But I thought it'd be cool to see a little video of me cleaning this GPU because it definitely needed it. This GPU was very, very dirty. And yeah, just let me know if you guys want to see a dedicated video on the RX 580. It's a pretty sweet looking model and I definitely think it would be interesting to see how it does in 2025. Anyways, with that, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs> A big thank you to all my channel members that have decided to give me their money and support my channel. I really appreciate that. If it weren't for them, I would not be making these videos. So uh, thank you.